Hi guys, it's Mike here again from Raycom. I'm here with Sam from Zoom UK. We're going to talk about the new Zoom L8 multi-track recorder. Yeah, no worries. The L8 has a bigger, well, it's two bigger brothers. It has mm -hmm. the L12 and the L20. Yeah. Now, they're great for recording full musical projects, so full bands with full drum kits, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. The L8 is a lot more stripped down, so it is it is aimed at musicians as well, obviously, on, on a slimmed down scale. But this recorder is also aimed at podcasters because there is only the six inputs. Uh, and most of the time, you won't really have a podcasting situation where there is more than six guests. So it's nice and slimmed down, but you do have the extra inputs if you need them. Mm -hmm. Now, um, another great feature uh, about the L8 which its bigger brothers don't have is the ability to accept phone-ins. Oh, yeah. So there's a little yeah, 3.5 yeah. mil jack which you connect to your phone. Mm -hmm. uh, this also offers a mix minus as well. So the person on the phone won't be able to hear their own voice and they won't get like an echo or a delay or anything yeah. like that because that's going to that's gonna ruin the flow. And that also comes through in stereo on channel uh, 7 and 8, which is kind of an exclusive bank for the mix minus. Yeah and also for the sound pads. So if you're doing a podcast and there's a particular jingle or a particular sound effect that you need to add in, you can have uh, up to six programmed and they take uh, they take the stereo feed from uh, 7 and 8 as well. So cool. they're loaded onto the SD card mm -hmm. um, and you can have different banks and different you know different sets of, of sound banks depending on what project you're on. The other great thing about the L8 is the, uh, the master out and the monitor out. So there is a master out with a left and right XLR jacks. Mm -hmm. There's also a headphone out for the master and there's also three for monitors. So if you've got three different guests and they all want to hear different things yeah. or whatever, they can all have their own independent volume control okay. as well, which is nice. So it's fairly flexible. Indeed, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So while the guests are talking, while you're having the podcast, you're also recording onto SD card yeah. or through a computer or a Mac via an audio interface, mm -hmm. or you can have them both running at the same time. Okay. So you can be taking a feed from the computer while still recording onto SD card as well, which is, and the SD card's taking the raw file format. So no matter if you're adjusting the faders as the guests are talking, that's not going to be saved to the mix. Yes. So that's all you can do. You can do all your edits in post, oh, basically. Yeah, yeah. Um, another great thing is there's an effects uh, channel strip, which is located here. Mm -hmm. So that you can control your EQ, you can add effects, you can mm -hmm. add low cut, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And you can assign that to all your different channels as well. So channel one can have reverb, channel two can have delay, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Now, uh, the last thing to talk about, everything is nice and contained on the unit, so there isn't a lot of fiddly menus to go into. Mm. Uh, all your play pause, um, you know, scene set buttons, settings, they're all on the device, so you don't have to go rooting through menus to find yeah. find your options. Everything, if you're running a podcast, it's likely that you're just doing it by yourself, mm -hmm. so everything is nicely controlled on the unit. You can mix the sound and know exactly what the audience is going to hear um, when uh, when you get the finished product. Brilliant. Well, that sounds great. If anyone has any more questions about the L8, so leave us a comment or give us a ring, get in touch, drop us an email. And uh, yeah, thanks again, Sam, for joining no us. And, Thank uh, you. We'll see you again soon. Thanks.